Hi, my name is Rajesh Pavitran and I am the CEO and founder of Boon Tech. Today we are going to talk about blockchain application components. Blockchain applications are either in the form of smart contracts or dApps. A smart contract is a piece of code which is deployed on the blockchain and is uniquely identify, identified by an address. A smart contract implementation includes state variables, functions, modifiers, and events. Smart contracts are implemented in a high-level language such as Solidity. While smart contracts can directly be used by end users who can send transactions or calls to the smart contracts through Ethereum clients. However, to provide a more user-friendly interface to smart contracts, dApps can be developed and applied over these smart contracts. A dApp includes a front-end user interface which is implemented in HTML and CSS and a back-end which is typically implemented in JavaScript. Users can submit transactions to the smart contract associated with, with the dApp form from dApp's web interface itself. The dApp's web interface forwards the transaction to the blockchain platform and displays the, trans the transaction receipts or state information in the smart contracts in the web interface. A dApp is deployed on an Ethereum node which serves the dApp's web-based user interface. The dApp logic is controlled by the associated smart contracts which are deployed on the blockchain platform. Dapps which have special storage requirements can make use of decentralized storage platforms such as Swarm. Similarly, dApps which have special messaging requirements can leverage a decentralized messaging platform such as Whisper. While the smart contracts are deployed on the Ethereum blockchain, Swarm storage and Whisper messaging work off the chain as they do not require a consensus on the blockchain. An Ethereum node comprises an Ethereum client such as Geth, compilers for smart contract programming languages such as compiler for Solidity, and clients for Swarm and Whisper platforms. Design methodology for blockchain applications. In the analysis stage, we analyze the requirements of the blockchain application to be developed and identify the entities involved, their roles and relationships. The entities can either be physical, such as users or objects, or virtual, such as concepts. In the design stage, we model the entity attributes as state variables and interactions between them as functions. At this stage, we also capture the dependencies and constraints. In the implementation stage, we implement the smart contract for the blockchain application, including state variables, functions, modifiers, and events in a high-level language such as Solidity. If a user-friendly interface to the application is required, we implement the dApp which is backed by the smart contract. For the dApp, we implement the front-end in HTML and CSS and backed in JavaScript and backend in JavaScript. Let us now apply this design methodology toward the development and deployment of a crowdfunding application. Using such an application, a crowdfunding campaign can be set up. Backers interested in supporting the funding campaign can send transactions to the contract along with the value in Ether to contribute to the campaign. The entities involved include a campaign owner, the campaign itself, and the campaign backers. The funding campaign owner creates a campaign and the campaign backers contribute to the campaign. Next, we identify the types of interactions between the entities involved. The campaign backers fund the campaign created by a campaign owner. Upon completion of the campaign, the campaign owner checks if the campaign goal has been reached. If the, if the campaign succeeds, the funds collected are transferred to the campaign owner. However, if the campaign fails, the funds collected are returned to the backers. We model the entity attributes as state variables and interactions between them as functions. For a crowdfunding campaign, the attributes include the campaign goal, campaign duration, amount raised, campaign status, and number of backers. Similarly, for a campaign backer, the attributes include the address of the backer 
and the amount contributed. The interaction between a campaign backer and the campaign is modeled as the fund function. A campaign backer can contribute to the campaign by sending a transaction to the fund function along with the value to contribute in Ether. The interaction between the campaign owner and the campaign is modeled as the um, check goal reached function. Upon the completion of the campaign, the, the campaign owner can send a transaction to the check goal reached function to check if the campaign succeeded or failed and withdraw the funds if succeeded or issue refunds if failed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe, like, and comment. I would love to see your comments. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you very much.